Let's go back to some of the things we like. What, what was, what was, what do you like, Matt? I really like when, well, I like living out of a suitcase. I like being on holiday and living out of a suitcase. But when I come home, I don't unpack like a normal, well, I don't know if that's normal. You I, I live out of it for, you know, as long as I can. Is I that laziness it. or you actually like it? It's a combination. It's laziness, but I like, like being lazy, so it's oh. nice. Yeah. I don't wash clothes and put them back in the suitcase and just... Right. You know, I just use the suitcase. Once them. they go through the laundry system, they then enter they back, into back into the mainstream. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I've been putting them back in my suitcase. But Have I mean, you, Trev? Yeah. What is it with you two? You're living odd little lives. I don't know. Are you it's living it's together? Just, no, we're not. But I think it's the illusion that you could take off at any moment, or yeah. it's the l illusion of freedom. Do you have a suitcase with you? You can't take off. You'll be slowing you down. Well, yes, but you know, it's, you're not like taking your house with you. So, yeah, it's like. You know, well, no, your house ain't designed to be taken with you. I don't know why you think you've got to take things with you well, everywhere. Well, you, you want to have a change of clothes, something to brush your teeth. Well, that's why we have luggage. Trevor, you like killing mice. So <laughs> stop <laughs> it. So before you tell us about your joy in killing mice. Where does this come from? That's an unprovoked attack. Yeah, because... No, you did tell us that you enjoyed killing them mice. I, that's, well, I, yes, there's a satisfaction <laughs> built up from the from the cumulative... Yeah, it's numbers. It's well, numbers. I don't like actually else. killing the mice. I find that horrible. And, yeah. I like, and I don't like looking at the dead mouse. But you've got a mouse league table in your mind. There's a satisfaction. How many have you done this week, then? Well, last week it was seven in a, in a, in a, in a seven-day period. It's Where do you live? What sort of place do you live? Well, I've got a little bit of a problem, yeah. The next door, and, and the, it's it's dodgy where That's I am. That's why he wants to have a suitcase life. You're right, because he's got in case, in case the mice start to win. I wouldn't be surprised if they turned against you. You're like a Jack the Ripper of the mouse world. You don't do anything with their corpses, do you, Trev? No, I'll put them in the no, dustbin. No. <laughs> do you make trophies? I, don't don't like mice? I actually don't like killing them, but it's nice when you've got this satisfaction that I've killed no, them. No, Trevor, out. you like it. You like it. You like it too much. I you like it. Like why did, why did you just say that then? <laughs> <laughs> that was the sound of Trevor killing a mouse. Oh, I regret <laughs> this. Yeah. Right, I, regret this. I should have said I don't like it. I don't like it. No, you like it. I'd like, like to it. envisage, right, well, it's all of us listening, envisage it's Trevor <laughs> gleefully Stamping killing six or seven a mouse's skull. That's and not then how I kill them. Worms after like killing a mouse. You, you hear this for miles around. Like <laughs> Read it out. <laughs> Trevor jumping up, clicking his heels, all, all his little boots all covered in mouse flesh and skulls and bits of grit. I'd like to see him in a, a big cape made out of mice, dead mice, screaming, mouse screaming, tortured faces, and him standing there proudly, puffing out his chest and saying, I like it. <laughs> Trevor Locke, slayer of mice. If you've got any more bizarre peccadilloes, you know, maybe you like, I don't know, torturing officers or something, you can text us on 64046 or you can email russell.6music at bbc.co.uk. Oh, this is an exciting contest coming up. Is that what we're going to listen to? Yes, that's Ooh, awesome. Yeah. BBC Six Music. <laughs> Black and Blue Eyes by the Charlottes. You're listening to Russell Brand on Six Music. We're talking about things that we like. Just before uh, the Charlottes, Trevor confessed to, to liking and killing little mice. So That's what, an exaggeration. The, the image that we need to have is a, a dead mouse splattered across Trevor's kitchen floor. Trevor, chest all puffed up, all nice, nipples erect, saying this. I like it. No. <laughs> That's no, Trevor Lock. <laughs> right, and then we've got, look, Trev, one of your like-minded loonies has got in touch. It's Scott from Oxford. He goes, Russell, I like it when you spray fly and wasp killer and then watch the fly or wasp but do that thing where they shoot around the room really quick, quickie, he says, not quickly, really quickie, hitting everything <laughs> in sight and going a bit mental before they die. I like it, says so Scott from Oxford. Do you, uh, do you get off on that as well, Trev? I don't like it. I want to make this clear that this is your idea, Russell. I don't like it. You don't like it. Can I, uh, I think it's a right nice one, Scott from Oxford. That's a good contribution. Trevor, also tell us that he, because of his mouse murdering, <laughs> that he's scared of shoelaces, spaghetti, and everything that reminds him of mouse. Because I haunt you. It's true. After I did the mice killing uh, that week, there was just lots of things that looked like mice tails, Imagine wet shoelaces on the street, like Edgar Allan Poe's Telltale tell tell Heart. Tell yeah. Everywhere you go, you see I little dead mice. Yeah. I Imagine you, you ran over a stranger on a dark country road. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> haunted, wouldn't you? I you probably would be. Well, you should be. I think <laughs> that would be reasonable. Of course, man. That's worse than the mice. You shouldn't be killing a stranger on a dark country road and thinking to yourself, case. I like. wrong. I like the way. I've killed this stranger on a country road. <laughs> you just made loads of money for that, man. <laughs> <there. laughs>
I, I think he deserves it. We can argue it. that those aren't the real lyrics, though, I'm sure. Yeah, we'd throw our own lyrics for that. If anyone deserves royalties, it's us. We came up with that. Right. right, Nick goes, I like licking the remnants of, off a meal off my plate, especially a curry or chilli con carne. Naturally, I only do this in the privacy of my own home. I also like stopping lift doors from shutting with my feet to let myself or another late lift catcher come on board before we take our vertical journey. I like that and all. That's like altruistic. It. Yeah. I like what does that. He mean? Well, he's stopping the lift for someone by putting his foot in it. Yeah, you'd like, if someone's running for the lift, you put your foot there, you think, I will defy the lift, come in. I yeah. Think, yeah, because there is that moment where you think, oh no, it's one of those lifts that doesn't stop. And yeah, and it's that too tight thing, and then mm. suddenly they have to p tube doors. I like doing really that really hard to keep open. Yeah, you've got to be really powerful. I've had some humiliating experiences in that. Once my bag was in the tube and I was outside the tube, I'd lost that bag forever. Whenever I see that happen, I just turn away. I can't watch someone in that. It's humiliating. You don't want to be associated with them. Was your bag inside or...? The bag was inside. So I never saw it again. His loving lifestyle. I don't want to be separate from him. No, I know you don't, dear. I knew a man who used to get a thrill from taking his trousers down in a lift if he was the only one in a lift. Called Trevor, was it? <laughs> this friend of yours, Trevor, did he murder mice for glee <laughs> and then stand in a lift with his trousers down saying, I like it. <laughs> I bet he did, Trev, and I bet he's you. <laughs> You listen to Russell Brand on BBC Six Music. That was maybe by NERD. No one ever really dies. Although, you like it, do you, Matt? I do like it. Enough it to give that man some more money. Giving him some more pr Don't mind, props. Don't mind. No one ever really dies. My granddad did. At least he was dormant. For the <laughs> very least. We've got some more emails. I like it when you awake after a short sleep, says Oliver Freer, and think it must be time to get up, but when you check the clock, you've only been sleeping for a couple of hours and you've still got five or six solid hours left. Feels like you've taken off the oppressive shackles of old father time and somehow cheated the devious old fool out of precious few hours. Oliver is at war with the concept of time. Well, he's yeah. lost, though, if he goes back to bed again, hasn't he? Well, well, that's, mean, a, that's a victory. Is it? That's a triumph. Which is going back to sleep again. Yeah, it would well, be a victory the... if he got up and did some jobs that he never had time no, to what do. What he's saying and then is, breakfast. you think, oh, God, I'll get up, and then you look at the time, you, you think, think oh, ah, six uh -huh. more hours of delicious laying down. Six sleep more hours is... of unconsciousness that he'll never know about. Yeah, but no, Trevor, I beautiful. like that. Sleep's one of the best things in the world. Don't you like sleep? I do like it, but actually, it's a little bit like death, isn't it? That's because your house is overrun by mice. Yeah, Trevor. I don't see the link. Mice are probably mice. Mice are in heaven. Is that your vision of heaven, is it? Full of mice? Hell. Don't attack Matt, Trev. He ain't done anything wrong. He's not the one stomping around his house You don't genocide. enjoy sleep because you're ha you've got mice running all over you. I enjoy and you it. live out of a suitcase. Your life sounds disgusting, Trev. You're like I a think... killer. Here, listen, we've got an email here from Andy Elkerton. He goes, Hello, gents. I once lived in a house with a family of furry little mice. Oh, which a family of furry little mice decided to make their home. One afternoon, I saw one of the little brutes snuffling merrily away in a corner, and whilst it was preoccupied, <laughs> I managed to sneak within grabbing distance without being heard. I scooped it up, and not wanting to harm the little fella... Interesting that he snuck up behind it in that way, all silent, and I has already called it a little brute. I find that unlikely. I mean, I've tried sneaking up on mice. It's very difficult. What else are you planning to do with these creatures? What are you doing? Sneaking up behind it wearing petticoats and little suspenders? <laughs> Gonna show it a good time? Just as a lady it, mouse it? with lipstick on. <laughs> yeah, like a pink version of itself. Like in <laughs> Bugs Bunny cartoons. I scooped it up, says Andy Elkington, of the mice in his house. Not wanting to arm the little fella, fella delicately held its tail between my fingers, leaving it dangling in the air. That's not wanting to arm it, scooped it up and left it dangling in the air. You pick it up by the scruff of the neck. Absolutely. Pick the scruff of the neck. That is how you pick up a mouse. You pick <laughs> up a mouse. Get scruff. Yeah. Yeah. How do you get his little that? mouse scruff? The same way you get anyone's scruff. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Trev, if yeah. you know this much about getting people's scruffs, it won't be long before we're hearing on the news, Trevor Lock is apprehended, he has some fella by, by scruff his scruff. Of his neck. Yeah. So you deserve to be detained, yeah. exactly. It's a weird word, isn't it? Scruff. It is. Yeah. Like, scruff is like lap, and it? It's not normally there. Like, you wouldn't go, oh, I've got someone hurt me on my scruff. And if you did, <laughs> you'd expect <laughs> people to think it was a sex incident. <laughs> oh, my scruff's been wounded. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, my lap. I've got muck on me lap. Probably it's your just lap only exists when you're in a certain position. Absolutely, yeah. You can't walk along and bang into something and go, oh, my lap. Oh, <laughs> it kicks me in the lap! <laughs> my lap hurts! Get off my lap! 
<laughs> yeah, you can't say any of those things without being considered a loon. Back to Andy and his mice, right? Remember, right, when we left off, Andy had scooped him out up normal arm, the little fella. He's dangling, yeah. dangling. By yeah. his towel. Well, yeah. listen to this bit. Yeah. Listen, here's a cliffhanger. Listen to this, Matthew, Trevor, everyone. To my horror, the skin covering its tail slipped off, unsheathing a bloody bony mess. <laughs> the mouse landed on the floor with a thud and scampered off beneath the settee, squealing almost as loudly as me. Suffice to say, I did not like it. I like it. That's what Trevor Locke would have said <laughs> had he been at Trevor the scene. Trevor took his trousers down at that story. <laughs> Trevor, pull your trousers back up. His that eyes are rolled up in they his head. Fell. They it's fell. They fell. Sort of <laughs> Trevor looks it's like a, a shaman now. <laughs> <laughs> now he's, a, he's in canting things. He's burbling on in tongues about that. <laughs> that is why you should never pick a mouse up by the tail. You should always pick him up by the scruff. That, that yeah. mouse must have been ill or weak. No, I can't that's why, that's why you don't that. pick him up by the, by the tail. Trevor, you've never heard anything like this happening before. Don't make out of I've seen people I, pick up uh, vets. Of what, your golf club? Yes. <laughs> Where'd you see these mice getting plucked up by their tails? Vets! I've seen all that Rolf Harris thing. <laughs> Cartoon club? You're living in a dream world, Matt Morgan. <laughs> Here's another email from Minty. She goes, I like blowing kisses at animals on the street, usually yeah. other people's pets, but foxes and other furry wildlife included. I really like the foxes sound of Minty. Foxes would not respond to a blown kiss. No. I don't think they respond to a kiss of any kind. And uh, negatively, if you were to get a fox right up scruff. tight, get, get it by, by a scruff and get off of it. Do you think, <laughs> do you think foxes have a scruff? Yes, of course they do. Everything has a scruff that's a mammal. Apart yeah. from a whale. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about scruffs. You're not Gerald Durrell, my family and other scruffs. You know nothing about scruffs. Who's Gerald Durrell? He's the some fellow who's next to Terry Nutkins. Yeah. He's, a bit Packham. He's a bit like Terry Nutkins. I don't want to mention Terry Nutkins because I heard something strange about him and his fingers. Yeah. What? He, <laughs> you can't go any further with that. <laughs> Are they degloved like that tail? It, no, it's it's came off and think otters ate them. No, he bit them off himself. Trevor. Out of anger. Why was it ter Terry Nutkins was infuriated by yeah. this episode of Really Wild Show, <laughs> chewed off his own hand in yeah. frustration. Fair enough. Perhaps he did it to escape a trap. <laughs> he learned everything he knows from foxes, that man.